Hi there, in this tutorial, I will show you how to do a simple pop simulation using a sphere as a source. Let's get started. First, let's create a basic setup composed of a geometry for the pop source, a dot network for the pop sim, and another geometry to import the pop sim. Jump into the pop source geometry. Create a sphere. Change the primitive type to polygon. Frequency 25. The higher frequency, the more points. Create a mountain node and change amplitude and element size to your preference until you like the shape you made. Create a null and jump into the pop sim. For a pop sim, you will always need a pop solver, a gravity node, a pop object node, and a pop source node. This is the basic setup. Plug the pop object in the first input of the solver and the pop source in the third. In the birth tab, change the life expectancy to a lower level. Whatever value you put there is read as seconds. To make the simulation more interesting, I will use a pop wind node. Play with the highlighted parameters until you get something you like. Change emission type to all points. Other recommended nodes to make the simulation interesting are pop wind, axis forces, and force. Create some lights and a camera. For this example, I will use an environment light but I encourage you to experiment with the options available. Lastly, jump into the pop import, create a dop import node, and choose the pop simulation node. To make it a little more interesting, add a color node. You can use one color or select ramp from attribute to get more interesting results. In this case, I will use the age attribute. Finally but not least important, change the p-scale attribute to a small number, I will use a simple vex code for this. This will help you render the particle to the real size of a particle, otherwise, your particles would look like spheres. Play with the angle of the camera and different light settings until you get the result you like. I hope you enjoyed the video and don't hesitate to make questions in the comment section below. You can also contact me on my social media.